Hi, this is Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion, and today's video is going to be on transferring simulations from your computer to your iPad. First thing you'll need to do is make sure that you have a version of iTunes, uh, preferably the latest version of iTunes, installed on either your Mac or your Windows computer. They're pretty similar. They have a little bit different look, but basically all the functions are the same. I'm going to be showing you on the Apple version, but uh, if you're on a Windows computer, you should be able to follow along just fine. First thing you'll need to do is plug your iPad into your computer. And once it's recognized, a lot of people have trouble finding out, well, how do I get to it? And if you look right now, I'm in the uh, iTunes store. And if you look a little to the left of this, you'll see this little icon over here, which looks like an iPad. And if you click on that, that's actually your iPad. And, when, and it'll tell you all the information on your iPad and different things that you need to know. But what we're worried about for this video is we're going to go into the file sharing. And if you look off to the left here on this list, if I click on the file sharing, that will bring up any of your apps that allow you to bring external files from the outside world into the Apple world on your iPad. And you can see that Fire Studio 6 Player is on that list. And so when we click on it, you, know, you can see what's on your iPad. Uh, a lot of you, if this is the first time you looked at it, you won't have anything on there. It'll be empty. And um, you can just start putting things on once you get to that point. The reason I'm showing you with a, a lot of simulations on there, so this looks like I have Simpack 1 on there. And in order to add the simulations to your iPad, you're going to need to be able to navigate to that spot on your computer where you've saved the simulations that you want to put back onto your iPad. If you look right now, there is no add button, and a lot of people will say, hey, I can't find the add button, where is it? And you have to realize that this is a scroll bar, and so when you scroll up and down, you have to get to the bottom before this add button shows up. And so once you once you get there, then you can just click add and you can get to where you want to do. So I've uh, already brought up, I'm going to bring a couple simulations in from Simpack 2. And in case you didn't know, we sell pre-made simulations, Simpack 1 and Simpack 2 right now that each have 20 pre-made simulations on there for you. So if you want to check that out on our website, uh, feel free and then you can take a look and it'll give you a little jump start on making your simulations if you're if you're new to Fire Studio. So what you need to remember is, is if you are going to bring your simulations over, uh, for one, they need to have already been exported. Not only saved, but you have to export them. And this is particularly important if you have custom backgrounds because when you export it, it's going to create two files. Uh, you can see, we'll just go on this, this uh, simulation 7 right here, this, this six-story brick. It's got a DCS file and an LBR file. And both those, those uh, files have to be on for this to be able to, to open up the simulation because that library file is what contains all your custom backgrounds and things like that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my shift button and then highlight both of those and simply click add. And it happens instantaneously. It's not like you, you don't have to sync your your iPad to get these um, on there. It's, it's going to just put them directly on there. So you can see, and it also depends on how many you're going it, to, it'll take a little longer if you're bringing a bunch of them in at one time. But So there's that uh, Simulation 7 from our Simpack 2, the six-story brick, and I've got both those two files there. So now they're on there. Now, uh, this is also the place that you're going to need to to go if you want to get rid of some simulations. So if you have too many on there, and um, or you want to swap some out and things that you're not using, uh, we're going to basically do the same thing in reverse, so I'm going to highlight these two files. And there is no delete button, you just need to hit the delete on your keyboard, and of which I'm doing right now, and it's going to ask if you want to delete the selected documents from your iPad. I'm going to say delete, and then they're gone. So that's all there is to it. There is no, you don't have to then sync your iPad or anything, it happens instantly, so you're, you're pretty much done at this point. So that's all you have to do. You need, just need to get uh, plug your iPad in, get to iTunes, go into the file sharing over here on the left once you select your uh, iPad, add your simulations that you want to add, and you're done. And make sure you, uh, then you can go in and you hit this eject button and that will eject your uh, iPad so that uh, you'll be done for good. And then you can uh, go instantly open up Fire Studio and be able to play those simulations back. So I hope that uh, helped you out and go ahead and look at uh, our website. There's a lot of other tutorials. You can learn different things about Fire Studio. So this is Rich Merritt for Digital Combustion and we'll see you on the next tutorial.